Well, it's interesting because, well, I think it's interesting. Other people will have to decide for themselves if they think it's interesting. But all of the works that I've done with A Thousand and One Dark Nights have been part of the same paranormal universe, which is the Desire mm -hmm. Exchange. And the Desire Exchange is basically, uh, if you've read The Flame or you've read Kiss the Flame or you've read The Surrender Gate, you know that people who are first introduced to the Desire Exchange believe it's just the sex club for rich people. But what you discover is that it's run by a paranormal race of beings who can make your sexual fantasy manifest physically in your space if they right. kiss you. So I wanted to do something that was not paranormal and I wanted to do something that was contemporary and set in Dallas and about a hot cowboy and all this sort of stuff. And my initial plan was to have it be a desire exchange story. And then I realized this was actually a story about someone who does not go to the desire exchange because she realizes mm -hmm. that the love of her life is already in her life. Usually the desire exchange is where you go if you're not in touch with what you want or who you are or what your fantasies right. are. You need to live something out before you can get clear about who you should be with. So the, uh, this became its own thing. And it, um, it became an opportunity to introduce a small town called Chapel Springs, which I have made up. It is a town in the Texas Hill Country. And it will hopefully be a location for future stories, novels, and novellas of mm -hmm. different pairings, maybe different genres, I don't know, maybe some more romantic suspense, something like that will start to kind of center around Chapel Springs, because it's a sort of quirky, eccentric, offbeat town in the Texas Hill Country. And so that was, that was how it came about, but the, the idea for it came to me in the airport on the way home from the Romantic Times Book Lovers Convention this past year in Dallas, Texas. And, I, you know, oh. I, I, I like to say, this is what I said in the Dark Knights newsletter, but usually ideas for me come out of a place and something someone close to me is going through. And I had just spent a week in Dallas. I have a lot of family in Dallas, so I, I saw them while I was in town for the convention. And my father came from there and there's Texas roots all throughout my family. So I, was, I felt very inspired creatively, but at the time, a lot of my friends were going through some really nasty divorces, and I wanted mm -hmm. to write a happily ever after for them. Mm -hmm. And so that, those two things kind of combined to make Dance of Desire. And I outlined the whole thing in the airport at Love Field waiting for my flight home, pretty much. I mean, not oh the whole God. thing, but most of it, yeah. 